How to touch up an outdoor sculpture painted with DuPont, Imran, and an epoxy primer. First of all, if the sculpture is not bolted down, it makes it easier to elevate the sculpture a little bit on top of some 2x4s. This gives you access to the bottom portions very easily, and that's where they might be chipped. Secondly, take um, a 3M buffing pad which I will supply, and lightly buff the surface of the piece where it is to be repainted. So you can buff the chipped areas plus the horizontal and vertical areas of the lower rings which are to be repainted. Give some firm finger pressure. You should look and see the surface slightly buffed or matted where you've rubbed. This also cleans it. Then to remove the dust where you have buffed, take a clean rag, dust it off, but follow that with a tack cloth and remove the remaining dust with the tack cloth. Next we're going to mix two parts of the epoxy primer. They will be supplied in glass jars. And you can mix them in the glass jars. I'm just mixing it in a cup for demonstration. Um, they're equal parts one to one. The primer is the thick part of the paint system. The paint is the thinner part. So take a new brush, which I will supply. Um, load the tip of the brush a bit. and you'll be creating some subtle patterns in the primer as you apply it. And just keep working the brush, and if a hair comes off the brush, get rid of it. Keep working the brush into what you've painted before, raising the brush just to create those patterns. If you are just touching up any nicks, use the corner of the brush and just subtly touch up where the metal is showing on those chipped or nicked parts of the finish. So you should cover the exposed metal and overlap the adjoining paint just a little bit. Okay, then repeat, let that dry overnight. Um, you can lightly buff it again the next day if you choose the um, primer. And then dust the primer with the tack cloth once again. And as far as the paint, the paint is a three to one ratio. Mix the supplied paint. And when you're painting, use the same technique we used with the primer, whereby you start in one area, but keep brushing into the area you've been painting just to sort of feather that paint into the existing paint. And just use different approaches from different angles to feather it. You can let that dry and apply a second coat if necessary the next day. It should be left to dry for two days before it's handled. And that's it. It's really just um, Nothing too complicated, just taking your time with these simple steps. If it's done outdoors, a mask really isn't necessary, but if you care to use a mask, 3M makes a good mask with the filter number 6001 for this sort of thing. Um, that's it. The key is just being careful, taking your time. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me an email. Thank you.